As I said, it's very difficult at this moment for anyone to know how exactly these people died. I imagine that uh, those who survived may give us some uh, indication as to how this happened. Um, what would you say to people wanting to go to the area right now, the tourists wanting to go there? I must say that uh, before this incident, this was a very safe place. Safe in the sense that uh, the government has put security as priority number one. Not only in the Bohindi forest, not only in the Bohindi area, but uh, throughout the country within the boundaries of Uganda. So we have security. We have had security in this area. So when this happened, it is something which has taken everybody by surprise, which shocked everybody. And uh, we have had local guards armed. But uh, when they were confronted by over 100 thugs, heavily armed, they were overrun. And that's why these innocent people got affected. As far as Uganda is concerned, we knew we had rebels on the western side of Uganda. And that's why, over a year ago, with uh, mutual agreement with the Democratic Republic of Congo, our forces went onto the, our western border of Uganda to police that region uh, to make sure that uh, these uh, rebels don't come into our, into our country from the western border to cause chaos because they have been doing this for quite some time. We thought we had contained it and it's just unfortunate that uh, obviously because of this, of the very long border which is being policed by our, our army, these people were able to somehow infiltrate this, uh, this region.